Hi Central, I'm Gia, your host for today, and this is AMC Central's Hot Ones with hot questions and even hotter beats. Hi Central, I'm Gia, your host for today, and today we have Mr. Reed, one of our principals here at Central. We're going to be doing the Hot Ones version um, or hot ones, but with a bean boozled version. And we have here sriracha, jalapeno, cayenne, habanero, and California Reaper. Oh, California Reaper. That used to be my nickname in high school, California <laughs> Reaper. Hey, this is yeah. gonna work out great. Um, we have precautions like milk, I have my water, and then um, spit bucket right here. Okay, so, get real ugly. Are you ready? I am ready, yeah. Okay. I'm glad. It's great to be here, I'm excited. I'm trying something new, I love the show on YouTube or whatever it's on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm glad you guys are taking a shot at it. Right? It's YouTube, right. right? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. All right, so to start off, I just want to kind of get a sense of like, how are you feeling? Are you nervous or confident about hopefully being one of the principals to complete this without drinking milk? Oh, so that's the challenge. <laughs> I should not drink milk. Okay. How do I feel? I'm a little confident. I, you know, I, I am from California. I love Mexican food. I, yeah. I, I grow my own peppers at home. so. I've made a, a mean salsa every now and then, so we'll see. I, jelly beans, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I can tell you, over here, I'm a little nervous. You are a little nervous. I am a little nervous, <laughs> a little, getting a little hot. All right, so the first one to start off is the sriracha one, so we're gonna take. So number one? Yes, number one. Okay, they, you didn't mix it up on me, right? right? I don't know, Josh is the one in charge Josh, of that, I'm not too sure. You better make sure that, all right. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So, wow. Okay. I'm not even about to lie to you. <laughs> okay, so All first right. question. So, uh, I'm pretty sure you know you play a big role as a principal here at Central. Uh -huh. How did you first get introduced to the job? To being a principal? Yes. Well, funny story is, I, like I said, I'm from California. We moved out here. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Woo! little. Yeah. We moved out here and I got a job as a uh, Spanish teacher. She took our hired me. And then, I taught for seven years, and then um, we, we had twins on the way. We had twins, uh, nine-year-old twins. And so I didn't know if I was gonna make enough money because my wife was gonna stay home with them. That summer, um, I got hired as a principal. I, I, like, small miracle, really. Oh, wow. I was preparing for it, I was going to school for it, but I got introduced from Mr. Tokars. They kind of led me into that, that way. So. That's good, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are a few things you enjoy about working here at Central? Oh, you guys, the kids. Like, uh, I love, I don't, I don't feel my age. I feel like I just come to school. Like, I, I don't come to work. I come to school. I'm, <coughs> oh, I'm in charge. Oh, I'm right there with you. Yeah, I'm in charge, obviously, uh, of, of, you know, certain things. But, uh, yeah, I just enjoy it. And the teachers are great. We have a great staff. Um, it's fun to be, I, I consider them my friends and my coworkers. So. Oh, that's sweet. Ah! Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah that I'm was just I'm sriracha. So I'm gonna definitely need a sip. Of, I'm scared. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so do we move on to the next one? You gotta. Yeah. Go All right. So the next one is. Ooh, the next one is jalapeno. I love jalapenos. Um, you can eat the full one. I'm definitely gonna go half with this. You're gonna one. go half. I'll, I'll go yeah. full. I'll go full. Yeah. Number two. Ooh, Mister, I'm not scared. <laughs> you would not have been able to do this. Oh, yeah, half instant jalapeno. Woo! Oh my God. It's better than the ones that are like vomit. You know, the Harry Potter ones, you know? Okay, next question. So, we all know that you are the principal for the, s ones. For the sophomores, correct? Correct, 2025. Yes, yeah, class 2025. Ooh. So, Ooh. you tend to get along with all your students, I would say. You just said that you love mm -hmm. the student community. So, um, but my real question to you, is how do you really feel about the rest of the classes, 23? Oh, I can't say I hate Are you them. serious right now, bro? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it's it's actually, so with your class, the class of 2025, you've got to be more of, of of the hardline dad. Like, no, this is my rules. My Whereas guy, pal, with the other You're classes, guy. I also have to be like, follow the rules and stuff like that, but I don't have the consequences. And so there's a big difference, consequent in your own kids. It's like being an uncle to you guys. Where I'm the dad to the class of 2025, I'm the uncle to everybody else. Like, hey, you shouldn't drink and drive. Don't do that. Or if it's my kid, I'm, you know, 
cutting your leg off or something like that. Yeah. And so that's that's the main difference. Um, you can you have different relationships with them, um, and then then your own kids. That's good. Yeah. That was, jalapeno wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad, but that sriracha still kicking in. Huh? Like, I'm saying, sriracha was definitely hotter than jalapeno. I mean, yeah, it's it definitely, definitely. Was super strong. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll see. Okay. So next one. <laughs> Uh, whoa, what's the next one? Uh, cayenne. Yeah, uh, cayenne. Really worried, right. but I'm like holding on. So I think. Cayenne, she's a nice girl. She's in, uh, I think, your eighth period. <laughs> Here we go. I'm literally like shaking. So it's sweet at first. What's worse is that I have braces, so it's literally. Like oh, cool. who's making her do with the braces? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, we're, we're all right. Mm -hmm. So okay. third question. Yes. So apart from like the students, you know, we want to get into the more of the faculty vibe, right? Sure. So let's just, who would you say is your favorite coworker? Oh, gosh. Uh, Mrs. Reed. Oh. Obviously. <laughs> My favorite Apart coworker. from her. <laughs> <laughs> Strict question here. Um, I, I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I know it's kind of a cliche thing, but like the admin team, we, we really, we work really hard. I mean, we're here a lot, but we, we get along great. We're, we're you know, we're, we're caught in Mr. Tokar's office or my office. It's either like me, Mr. Trizio, Mr. King, or I'll run into Mr. Walker's office. Donato will be in there. Or, you know, Worthy's walking around, he'll pop into my office. Uh, Ms. Gonzalez runs everything basically. Yeah. So we, we try to stay out of her way, but she's great to talk to. She, she's so available all the time. Um, but I, I've got a little, we've got a crew of, uh, faculty that we play basketball in the mornings. Oh, uh, the, it's basically the math department. Ask anybody. Well, I know Mr. Z -Watts is in there for sure. Yeah. Z -Watts, Martinez, Holly, but a bunch of Sheehan, all these guys, um, they play, sorry for anyone I left off, but, uh, we play, we played this morning, we played Friday morning, so we have a good time there. Uh, a couple other people, we play like a Turkey Bowl Thanksgiving game, so we, we hang out. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we're friends, uh, apart from there. I, I love doing work, yard work. I, I'm a master with a chainsaw if anybody ever needs. I, like I went over to Miss Nader's house to help her cut down a tree. Um, it, there's all sorts of things we do, but like it's a good faculty. It's a good staff. Yeah. We're, so you mentioned the the basketball little ritual that you guys do in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Who, who's the best basketball player? Best basketball player? That's a good question. Um, Z Watts can absolutely shoot lights out. He, he's He's tricky. He looks like an accountant. No offense. To you, no, right? he definitely yeah, looks I like agree. he's gonna do my taxes in a couple weeks. But he can shoot. Um, I, I would, I would put him up there. I'd, if I was picking teams, I definitely want him on mine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're gonna go on to the fourth one. The fourth one is. Oh yeah. Habanero. H is silent. Habanero. Is that how you say it? Um, I'm. Que paso con nothing. habanero. All right. What? Ready. Do we do a cheer? Let's do a cheers. Cheers. Oh, I just. Okay. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll do the next That's one. Germs. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if breathing at any given time. <coughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> we might need a relief a relief interviewer here. Relief pitcher here. You know what? You know what the saying goes, I eat those. I eat that. Alright, I'm good. Um. Woo! Yeah. Um. There's a piece stuck right here. Um. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're doing great, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I really hope I get extra credit because I'm really about to cry. <laughs> okay, so. <coughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, press, okay. Pressing on. Okay. So, as you know, Central has been changing a lot recently, you know, with the putting the honor pouches in place, which yeah. I cannot have mine right now. Um, <laughs> the stricter uniform policies and, you know, making sure that all kids get to class on time. Yeah. See, I'm um, tripping stuff out of my nose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> can't take myself seriously. I'm tripping this stuff. Do you think these additions to Central are truly effective? Oh, yes. I, I, and so... so um, I'm not going to touch the uniform too much because we've been doing that, but without a doubt, I think not having cell phones, cell phones, and I know you guys will hate me for saying this, I have read more articles, you call research or whatever you want, 
Cell phones are the bane of your generation. It is so dangerous. Social media, number one. Cell phones, not so much. They, they're very useful tools, but social media is so bad because this is why. I read this article. It was about why the last 10 years have been so crazy. It's in the Atlantic. It said, think about being a girl or a boy, but girls specifically, because girls tend to yes, uh, suffer a little bit more, right? From, from the, the talking back and forth. 11.30 at night, you're on Instagram, and all of a sudden, someone pops in, are they called DMs on Instagram? Yeah, DMs. Yeah. Someone pops into your DM, right? And all of a sudden, or like you post a picture of yourself, and then someone doesn't like it, and just leaves it at that. that and you check it at 11.30 at night. What are you gonna be thinking about? Are you gonna be able to go to bed? You're gonna be like, why did this, I don't know, do this? I mean, me personally, I don't care. Yeah. And so, don't. so people really care about it. So, I'm going off on a tangent here. Yeah, sure. yeah. I think, uh, uh, proper use of cell phones is really good. And to, to not be attached to it for a little while is, is a good thing. So I'm all for yonder pouches. I'm all for putting your phones away. My kids, they're nine right now. They don't have phones. I don't know when I'm going to give them a phone, but I've tricked my daughter into convincing her that if she gets a college scholarship, <laughs> college scholarship, I'll buy her a new phone. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously she's going to want a phone before that, but right now, nine years old, she does, she's not wise enough to know. I, I believe in the underpass my heart. No, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. I was a little mad at first, like everybody else, yeah. but it's good to actually be able to talk with other people or yeah. other people are forced to listen to me now. I talk so much. Um, Ca the cafeterias are a little louder, but that's good. Yeah, you're yeah. interacting, you're not doing this, you know. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right, are we ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Ready? Okay, ready. All right, cheers. Okay. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Okay. California Reaper. <laughs> AKA Travis Reed. I'm scared. I am scared. <laughs> Please. Yo, I cannot. Oh, it, oh, please. It just dropped like, like it was sweet and stuff and then it just went boom. <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm so sorry. I'm not, oh, I'm not cracking that thing. And look, Another. all I, I, I took like one third Ooh. of a bite. Um, it was like <coughs> nice and pleasant. It was like, oh, I'm the sweet little. <coughs> boom. <laughs> it just dropped the floor, dropped out. I promise, Josh, I wasn't gonna hit the mic either, and that's oh, all I've been doing the whole time. I'm oh, sorry. Got me coughing into it. Yeah. Oh. Um. Oh, that was serious. Okay. So I'm gonna have Gianna come and bring. Oh. Um. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So. What do we have? We were digging in our content from a few years back. Uh huh. And we found a few. Are we doing investigations? I've got a, 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 a dossier on me here. <laughs> I'm just going to have you go ahead and open that up for me. Okay. Hello, we see one third one. Here we go. Here we go. Is that you? <laughs> this is me, yes. That was you about five years ago, right? Like 2017? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. which camera am I showing? Yeah, here's mine. <laughs> yeah, this was me, yes. So all of us here in this room, all the students, would well, like to know. The same shirt. Would like to know why? Why it wasn't your decision to lose all the lose hair. Lose the hair, you <laughs> dirty dogs, you. Um, it was my decision. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> the class of 2017 was my first class, and um, they, I, I went through them, and I just, I was noticing like. More and more hair <laughs> was out of here, right here, right? And I just didn't want to pretend anymore. And people would call me like Manu Ginobili and stuff like that. And I really appreciate it. So I just did it. It's easier. Like I was losing a little here. It's uh, not as easy as talking right now. <laughs> yeah, <perfect. laughs> it's so hot. It is so hot right now. And I think the air going over it makes it worse. <laughs> but yeah, I got rid of the hair. What I did is I did 2017, I got rid of the hair so I could be bald for my class of 2021. Oh wow. Okay. And so I didn't want to cut my hair halfway through. Yeah. Okay. Okay? I'll take that back. Yes, that is, that is me. Huh? So go back in our files. Should, what do you, what, do you think I should go back? I mean, I, you know, I've got, I mean, hey, I've got this right here. You were, you were doing it with the hair, let me tell you. I was doing it with the hair. Oh. And we always tell Mr. Louisi too, come on, like, just let it grow. <laughs> Yeah, he's got he's yeah he's got the full thing. Like I'm, I'm I fighting agree. the battle, you know. <laughs> and the and the funny thing about going bald is every day is your worst hair day ever, but also the best hair day you're ever gonna have again. So 
But here's the thing, I feel like, like you're... Like, you losing it. <laughs> But I feel like you have a lot of personality, <coughs> and like you could like do a cute little pigtail moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I did it, you know, I I'm solid here. Maybe I do the comb over. Oh. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. So last and final question. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to. T <laughs> I got, listen. He could outshoot me. I gotta give another. He does not here. like me, so I'm not even gonna laugh. Anyways. <laughs> um. Okay. So last question. You know, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, um, yeah. How long have you been working here at Central, and do you see yourself working until you retire? Uh, yes, uh, I've been here. This is my 17th year uh, without it. I don't necessarily without a doubt, but yeah, I, I would love to retire. So I, I, I love the school. I love the community. I love the people. Um, yeah, it's a great place to be. It's a great place to make friends. And it's a great place to eat some hot food. <laughs> that was a beautiful message. Um, <laughs> It's like little pieces. No, yeah. <laughs> like no, go yeah. down. <laughs> they catch you. <clears throat> For sure. All right, so. Excuse me. I, I'm not cracking that open because no. I, I know other people are going to do it. Not me. All right? Not me, right? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, so. That wraps it up for today's hot bean challenge. We hope to have more principals on to see if they can clearly beat Mr. Reed's high okay. score. I've of, set a high standard. Yeah, yeah. I've set a high standard. You really yeah. have. You California, really have. right here. California. Pepper. All right, so we want Reaper, to thank California. you. California. <laughs> so you want to thank you for coming. Oh, really right. appreciate my pleasure. You. Thank you. For you took out. it like a champ. Me, on the other yeah. hand, maybe I won't. I will sit out for the next one. <laughs> um, but thank everybody. That wraps it up.